Hello, folks, gather round and lend an ear. And when you need advice, just ask old Dr. Cheer. Ladies and gentlemen, the RCA Victor Company present Dr. Cheer. Hello, everybody. Dr. Cheer speaking. And today I'm going to try to give you a few prescriptions. Take them to your nearest drugstore and try and get them filled. Now, Dr. Cheer doesn't prescribe pink pills for daily ills. He answers your questions and solves your daily troubles with music. Many people have written me asking for advice, and I'm going to read some of those letters now. The first letter reads, Dear Dr. Cheer, I've lost my brother. Can you tell me where he is? The last we saw of him, he was painting the barn. He fell off the ladder into a barrel of turpentine. We haven't seen him since. Well, L.W., I know just where he is. He's running wild. He's lost control. He's running wild and mighty bold. He's feeling gay like an old hound pup. He's running wild and he won't give up. But he'll come back when the sun goes down. Yes, he'll come back to the old hometown. And when you see his face all full of smiles, you know that he's through running wild. And here's a very, very pathetic letter. It's very sad. It reads, Dear Dr. Cheer, My husband and I have quarreled. I've threatened to leave him. Please give me some advice before I take this step. Lady, my advice is just this. Look down, look down That lonesome road Before you travel on Look up, look up And seek your maker For Gabriel blows his horn Totem, a heavy load, dredging down that lonesome road. Look down, look down that lonesome road before you travel on. Ladies and gentlemen, if you will turn this record over, I'll be seeing you on the other side. Hello, folks, gather round and lend an ear. And when you need advice, just ask old Dr. Cheer. And my third letter is from a boy who seems to be having girl trouble. Most unusual, I will admit. It reads, Dear Dr. Cheer, what would you do to a girl who slaps you every time you try to kiss her? And what would you advise me to do? Mm-hmm. Well, this is what I would do, and this is my advice. Take it slow and easy when the lights are turned down low. Take it slow and easy till she's under the mistletoe. Then pucker up your lips, kiss her twice. She won't slap, she'll think it's nice. Take it slow and easy. That's Dr. Cheer's advice. And the next letter, really, it's rather pathetic. It reads, Dear Dr. Cheer, My hair is beginning to turn gray, and I'm so afraid my husband will lose interest in me. Do you think he will seek a more youthful companion, Doctor? Lady, I don't think you have to worry at all, because when your hair has turned to silver, he will love you just the same. He will only call you sweetheart, that will always be your name. A garden filled with roses Down 
on the sunset trail you'll stray when your hair has turned to silver he will love you as today and the next letter strikes me as being rather funny it reads dear dr cheer i'm a girl what lives in the country a handsome traveling man came to town and wants to hire Deacon Smith's buggy and take me out. Should I go with this stranger, Doctor? He seems so nice. Don't go, little girl. Don't go. Because if you do, you'll walk back from the buggy ride, the buggy ride, the buggy ride. you walk back from the buggy ride. You'll hike through hills and dales. The way he'll look into your eyes You'll know that you'll need exercise And you'll walk back from the buggy ride Cause horses carry tails He'll take you out for an Irish stew And try to squeeze it out of you And you'll walk back from the buggy ride Cause horses carry tails And ladies and gentlemen If you would like some advice Just drop old Dr. Cheer a line <laughs>